Yeah, okay. Cooling items are not really causing any issues here. That's fine. That's good. And uh, not not glitching out the sound either. So we're back here for uh, another sports game here. There's another another sports game. There's a really weird one, too. This is this is an, uh, a game I think a lot of people would forget exists or not realize exists. Why? This is All-Star Tennis 99. Not related in any way to All-Star Baseball, which is a series by Acclaim. This is actually... Ubisoft, and I was waiting for that to come back around. I was, uh, this is, this music, I think, is, uh, telling you an awful lot about what we're, what we're getting into here today with All-Star Tennis 99. It's the only, uh, only tennis sim, I say tennis sim, I'm really bored that I say only tennis sim. Obviously Mario Tennis exists. Obviously that is not on the same level as this game. It's, there's two tennis games, only one game that's like this. They came out in uh, North America over here. However, there is a game, uh, I, I think it's this, the same game, it's called Center Court Tennis and Let's Smash Tennis. I think it's called Let's Smash Tennis uh, in Japan and Center Court Tennis in Europe, but that's the same. Um, I think that's the same game uh, and not next, but now that it says Smash Tennis on Europe, I think that is one of them. I know this game got a couple different titles or uh, different packagings in Europe. Um, I do want to turn that down a little bit. Just, yeah, I think realistically I could turn the volume down, but I think just in general, like this, this year seems. Uh, why don't we put the difficulty on easy? Um, I've got my controller pack in. I'm realizing now, I'm not even sure. Can you do a mode that you can like save in here? Because there's the world tour mode that it says right there, and I'm wondering. How long does that go for, though? Like, I just, I just dive right in. Okay. Just, is this on card? Cause there's no. This must be on card saving because this. There's definitely no like file on this. Huh. Thank you. Well, that's that's something I wasn't expecting from this game. So I guess this game has on card saving, which is something. Um. Yeah. So, it's, so, it's funny, I'm going to be struggling a lot of this, and I might only end up doing one stream this anyway, depending on how this goes. I was thinking, actually, um, oh, so this is actually what we're playing out, as we select our player here. Uh, in, what, in 1999, you still had a couple people that were big on the tennis scene. Tennis players make a lot of money if they're good. I don't know if people realize that necessarily. It's like golfers. If you're really good at tennis... If you're a Rafael Nadal or a Roger Federer or somebody on that level, you may bang. You are one of you are up there with the single highest paid athletes in the world. What we have here is not any of those guys or any of those people that would have been known at this time. And I wonder if it's because um, those people's licensing would have been too expensive at this point. Even though I know a couple people, <laughs> Jimmy Connors. Uh, not that you even know who that is out of, outside of video games, but um, if you want to go through like all the people that they could have had licenses for with this game, they're they're not here. This is the whole murderer's row, really, of of uh, tennis people in here, and half of them are not real. Um, I've got this, the Nintendo Power here, uh, which is the May May 1999 issue of the Star Wars Race Run. Uh, is only four pages long. It's the only thing that they really did anything with for all Star Wars, right? And there's 12 players in here. One, two, three. Thank you. Four of these guys are not real. Um, there, there's eight actual pros in here. And I wonder if maybe Sega snatched them up or just that, that Ubisoft didn't want to pay for them or anything like that. Um, I have no real... I, I guess I'll go with the guy on the cover, Michael Chang. Um, even that person, other, other than him being... Oh, he's on the co cover of this game. Other than that, I really have no idea who these people are. Um, never heard of any of them. You could have had um, Agassi, uh, Pete Sampras. I think I believe the Williams sisters were okay. uh, uh, part of the sport at this time. Um, and this is just me diving right into this. Cool. That's, ooh, camera's weird. Obviously, okay, I hit that out. Sure. Um... The camera moves around a little bit too much. I'd prefer a, 
uh, a more zoomed out and even camera. But sure. Not a lot going on here. I, I know I turned on the, the sound effects and shit, but yeah, not a lot going on here. With, um, <laughs> you get some grunting out of the players or something like that. Okay, get that out. Doing real well here to start off. And that was one of the things that the Nintendo Power actually said how to do was do a, uh, a power serve. Which is, after you toss it up, point the control stick towards the net and press A again when you go to serve. So I've done that successfully one time. Hey, that one back here. Uh, yeah, I guess there's like three special moves you can do. There we go. Is that anything? Nope, that's out. They want the, I lost the set. Sure. Okay. Or I lost the game, excuse me. Oh, I just whiffed that, okay. Um, yeah, it's like, there's so little to really talk about with this. Even, like, the Nintendo Power is hopeless. Alright, I have no idea what's up with the timing on the serves here. Oh, okay, I guess I'm fucking terrible. That's just three aces in a row, service aces for her. Also, I like how we've got a real, uh, a real solid representation of like how Four tennis, eight, uh, the the tennis uh, professional tour or anything goes. I don't think women and men play together on like professional tennis associations, eight, right? That's that's not a thing. I'm very much under the impression that that there's men's and women's divisions. But anyway. Um, so not to say I don't like a good tennis game either. Uh, I, I played, I played my fair share of tennis. Uh, the thing about this game, much like I said with, um, with Madden 2000, when I played it a couple weeks ago, I realized I'm like, you know, in a couple weeks from this point, cause this game comes, it's in the May, May issue of Nintendo Power, but it came out September, September ish. Um, at least in the USA. And I'm like looking at it, I'm like, love. Dreamcast comes out a couple weeks after this game. And that's going to have Virtua Tennis. And what I've said all the time is, I don't think any tennis game has really topped Virtua Tennis for the most part. So, as I always say, you know, Dreamcast really rewriting the book on on a lot of things, really setting up a, a, a amazing groundwork for video games going forward into game, the 2000s. Game. Take tennis games for that, too. They're just going to... I believe Virtual Tennis is one hey, of their launch titles. Uh... It's probably part of why it sold so well. It not, it's not like people like, oh, this tennis game's getting amazing reviews. It's probably... probably it's not a launch title. Um, so, yeah. Football... Tennis, tennis, Sega Sports, uh, Visual Concepts knew what they were doing. I don't know if Visual Concepts did virtual tennis, but... Hey! I'm pretty much on defense this whole time. I don't know if you can tell from the way that I'm playing, but... I don't really have a good grasp on the striking or anything. The, the actual, like... When you're hitting... Oh, there's a good grunt out of the, uh, the woman there. It's so Zoe... Waiting for one of those. Oh. Fuck that one up. That judge is awful loud too, isn't he? Out. Out. Thirty. Forty. I don't know why she's not moving. She's just diving right for it. Oh, and whip that one. No depth perception here. That's on me though. That's not. Really, it's. I don't know if that's really. I'm willing to give the game the benefit of the doubt on that one. I just don't have the, the depth perception to, to do this right now. As I said, I don't really care for the camera work. But as far as outright missing shit like that, I'll, I'll, I'll blame myself at this point. Um, God, all this really does, though, is... This makes me want to either play virtual tennis, which is a really, really good tennis sim, or it makes me want to play Mario Tennis. Um... 
And, you know, I'll probably play a couple games with this by myself. I don't really know what I'm what I'm doing with this uh, as a whole, like, for streaming purposes. No way you're getting me to do a whole, like, season of this not that exciting tennis game. You can admit this is not that exciting. What is... I mean, you can say... You can say that the baseball games aren't that exciting. You can say that the football games aren't that exciting. But, like, there's, there's a sort of... I am invested in those, and I can talk about them, and so that's totally fine. But a, uh, a tennis game, I spend my whole time talking about other tennis games, because I don't know what to say about this uh, just yet. What? Oh, fucking Christ. Okay. So I'm trying to do the, the actual power serve again, and it's not working. There. No, nope, okay. I can't, I'm trying to influence the ball so it actually, like, works in my favor. Like, the thing that you're supposed to do in tennis games, the thing I have the actual understanding of is, yeah, try to hit them where they aim. I'm trying to do that, and apparently I'm, I'm swinging too hard, or I'm, I'm trying to influence it too hard. It's really hard to have... I'll say it's hard to have nuance on the N64 controller in this in this context. You know, trying to just game Taylor. Thing, I guess. Taylor. Just, uh, it's like that's all I'm trying to do is I was trying to okay, yeah, she's she's still in the middle. I'm trying to get the ball over uh, get the ball over to the side there. Oh she's playing the net on me and fucking me up. Right. I don't have all day, come on. Yeah, like Tell me you don't notice that though, that the camera, it's, it bounces, it's bouncing back and forth, like, because, because my player has an idle animation where he kind of does the Brock Lesnar dancey dance, like, why is the camera responding to such insignificant amount of movement? That's, I don't like that, I, I really wish, the camera can zoom this way, but I don't, see the need for this side-to-side -side movement because it's zoomed in too far uh, by default. I think it should just zoom zoom out of it and be and be level. And I could be saying that and not really remembering how Mario Tennis's camera is running. I mean, it doesn't move as this. It does not move this much. Oh, no, that's on me. Gesturing. Oh, okay, that's what Down C does. See, is there a good? There isn't really. There isn't really a good control layout. See, cool. I can change the color of the ball. Oh, let's do that. Let's make it red. Quiet, James Taylor. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna say that that wasn't my fault. That I uh, couldn't hit the damn ball. But I have to point out that the judge just going and yelling "quiet" as I'm about to swing. That's bullshit. That's worse than the crowd noise, isn't it? How is, how is that not worse? That's a loud, sudden, oh, unexpected boy. sound versus a constant murmur. What an asshole. Where's Mario at? I, I want Mario to call this. That's all I want. Yeah, I want. What saved this for me? Krusty's in the crowd eating strawberries. That's all I want. Strawberries. 40, 30. Or George Costanza is up in the stands eating an ice cream. I want to see. I want to see fans eating. It's more exciting than than the game. Not not than tennis. I'm not going to say tennis isn't exciting if it's good. I'm just saying that. The way it's being presented to me, I'd rather be watching yeah. those things. This is fine. Virtual tennis, like, all I'm thinking about is virtual tennis. Like, there's just an air to it, and there's just a presentation to it that just makes it really enjoyable. Yeah. Like, really, yeah. like, you want to get invested in it. So, that's my... What is the set? Is it seven? Taylor, Are we just, uh, fucking seven? Okay, that's a law. That's definitely what I want to do all the time. 
15. Love. Something you want to bust out very, very... Yeah, that is a camera angle that I don't care for. That's that's one that I, I would be like, that's really frustrating. The camera just... If you didn't quite catch it, the camera just zoomed in. Not zoomed in. It moved overhead because we were both kind of towards the net. It moved so far in, and it was still at an angle. I just did not care for that, that movement of the camera. That, that was no fun. I don't see why that was necessary. I guess because they thought one of us would be like block, like they thought she would be blocking. Thirty four. What I'm used to in Mario Tennis, at least, is that you get your timing because you can kind of charge up. So like you don't have to have like, oh, if I don't start, uh, if I don't hit the button early enough. Then he'll be kind of just, he'll just kind of like bounce it off. He won't actually swing. At least in Mario Tennis, you can prep as soon as you know you're in position for it. And you don't have to be like right on top of it. You can be like, okay, I'm ready. I'll be ready to swing and then I'll hit it again. And you'll get a good swing out of it. You'll feel good. This doesn't really have that. And that's why you'll see me missing shots all the time. Because like I want to get better, I want to get something better than what he's doing, which is just he's. So I got, I got an actual, like, oh, no. front hand. That was out, really? I got an actual front hand out of him a little bit, but it was very, it was very, like, stilted. No. There you go. See, I went to swing at that way too early. So I don't really not dig in timing in this game, you know? I guess I also like it's positioning too, because it right. is right in front of him, obviously, that's all you can do. But it doesn't really look like he's swinging backhand at it, he's just kind of blocking it. I don't. Ball. I didn't press any direction on that or anything, I just. I used a different button, I hit B, and I guess you shouldn't do that. Oh, oh okay, it's one set, but it's one set of seven games. It was great that that was in and they didn't tell us because the camera zoomed in way too far. That that's dumb. I don't. I think this is really you. You're seeing just from one match. You're kind of seeing what the issue is with this game in the sense that like nobody really remembers this game. There's not much. Okay, so don't hit. Don't use B for the for the serves. The fuck. Okay, if you want. Uh, you're kind of seeing, I, I think you really saw right there that the issue with this game is that it's forgotten and not something that you really think of because it's, there's nothing bad about it. It's not broken. It's not unplayable, but like, <laughs> go back to the title screen. I guess my world tour is a failure. Um. I guess I will do since I since you know what I don't know. Oh, that was easy mode too. I forgot about that. Uh, it's special moves. Not that I was ever gonna be able to, to do it to do special moves. Here's the thing that they said it. Okay. R and Z. Hold R and Z and hit left C and down C at the same time. I'm having enough trouble with the timing for just you know just the regular shots. Okay, so Smash Tennis World Tour. And then there's this Bomb Tennis thing. I'll just say the Bomb Tennis thing um, is like one particular weird game mode that they have here where you add in that the ball will... I was looking at this. The ball will leave bombs on the court and you have to also like move around the bombs or they'll knock you down. If you're going to get knocked down, you're probably going to lose on the next shot. Um... Oh, and I can pick the core too. Uh, this is something I was actually looking at because the one we were playing on the floor was this one, the grass one. I know the differences between the core two because of Mario Tennis. Uh, the research is just going great. Thank you. Oh, that bell actually bell is pretty good. California. France. Italy. 
Saudi Arabia. Japan. That actually looks really nice, though. Look at that. It's weirdly stereotypical of Japan. Like, I don't think that, like, that's what tennis courts look like. Weird, uh, how they choose to present this, but, okay. With a nice, uh, brick Saudi Arabia. We'll play some, we'll play some bomb, bomb tennis, I guess. Uh... Play some bomb-ass tennis, that's all. So yeah, so he leaves a bomb there. He's gonna Good avoid game. it. Love. You know, I haven't really gotten a chance to look at some of the, the animations on the players. I Overall, I don't think this is a great-looking game. I think the player models look... Good game. Oh. I think... I think of uh, Fox Sports College Hoops when, I, when I'm playing this game, actually. This is a very weird... I They just don't have a ton of detail, or... No. Good game. Oh. oh, hey, let's change the ball color again. There's only five options. Uh, blue. Yeah, blue. Let's see. No, it may be pink. Let's look at, look at some different camera angles here, too. Well, that's that's really good that I can get a good preview. All right, it's still moving around. Let's see if there's one that doesn't really move around. I wonder if that's a thing. Oh, well, it's, it's going to no matter what. Fifteen forty. Game power. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. Yeah, I I don't really like the bomb tennis thing, not because, oh my god, it's so hard or anything. It's I think the bombs being laid out on the court are very distracting. Like, even if you know you wouldn't necessarily hit them, you're it, it's really easy to take your eye off the ball, which which is probably what they had intended to. Like, oh, no. hey, get it out. That's probably, like, part of what they were going for, too, was that, like, you know, it's so hard, you gotta keep your eye on the bombs no. and everything, cool. but I, this is, this is weird. No. Nope. Committed over to this side. And I feel like the strategy to be good at bomb tennis would be to be able to keep hitting it in the same spots so that they keep having to to deal with the bombs. But like I'm, I'm nowhere at that point. Oh my fucking god! I can't even keep it on the in the court. Oh, that sucks. Let's see if we can do this. Nope. Literally nothing happened. She didn't even try to swing at it. I was trying to do this special move. Nothing Just, uh, uh... Yep. That was the first time we actually saw the bombs, like, taking their, uh, intended effects. Uh, I think it would actually, it would actually benefit the overall experience of this game and this sort of like oh I didn't get out anyway. I was totally fucked on that. Um, I think it might actually benefit the overall like experience of reviewing tennis that's not Mario Tennis and streaming tennis that's not Mario Tennis. If I finish this this one up here, I don't really want to spend too much time on this. I think this is a this is really gonna be a one and done. But I would like to pop in the Everdrive and check out the other tennis game and see if that's any better. See if it's got any more characters, see if it, it you know, has a good feel to it, see if it has any of that stuff going on there. I, I, it, would be, it would actually be really beneficial to play them back to back, I think. I'm blown away that that could even be out because, like, like I keep saying, like, I'm not even really getting her to, uh, to swing through it or anything. I'm literally, like, half of my shots are this stunted. Like, oh, I moved my character directly in front of the wall, and all they can do is, is block it out back that way. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Quiet, please. Move! Yep. What'd you expect? Oh! 
Oh, oh my god, what the fuck was that? That was terrible. That was like really bad, like you have no control over your shot with the control stick like that. Hey, I hit that one. I can't really say I'm surprised that like the Nintendo Power doesn't spend a whole lot of time on uh, Advantage on tennis. If it's not Mario, uh, golf and tennis do not really make much of an impact with the Nintendo Power uh, audience, I would think. So, game. hey, I actually won that game. Oh, uh... prolonging, prolonging the inevitable. It fell on his ass too. I could have actually had that. Yep. Oh. oh wait, what? Did I actually win that? Okay. He did he hit it out on the last the last one that I thought I'd missed it. I just didn't realize. The judge didn't say it loud enough. Should have should have screamed it. sure if I have it. I, I, I played the Mario Golf uh, Game Boy Color game before I played Mario Golf on the 64, uh, which was a couple months ago now. Um, it's amazing. And uh, now I'm like, do I have the Mario Tennis Game Boy Color game? And can I play that by the time I, I mean, I can play that I could buy it and play it by the time I get around to Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis is like late 2000. So I've got time. What? Did I hit that out? Is that what they said? I know I fell over, but... But, uh... Did I think to myself... Like, I should have Mario Tennis. Um, because I want to have all of the, uh... The American compatible, uh... Transfer pack games. Uh, or at least... I say that not really even having Pokemon. Uh, at least not the original cartridges. I'd like to have the four, the other four. I'd like to have Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, Perfect Dark, and uh, Mickey Speedway. And I know I have Mario Golf, Mickey Speedway, and Perfect Dark. I'm not. I, I need to check my phone just real quick. I've already packed the game, but the game book is actually. Quiet, please. But uh, I need to check if I have Mario Tennis. Quiet, please. Thank you. Advantage power. Yay! I actually want to pull out something else too. I want to get the, uh, the M64 anthology Advanced and pull up uh, Center Court Tennis real quick. Oh, I did, I did leave the other Nintendo Power out that I was using. I'm, like thinking to myself, like, oh, I don't have to put every Nintendo Power back in the I only need to play. Uh, I forgot I left the Donkey Kong one down here. Under the coffee table. Hey! Oh, we're on to the next game. I'm really be paying attention. I guess I should have known that. I was serving. Very lucky. Yeah. There we go. God, it's... You know what? It's, it's too... It's really funny that... Like, I'm playing tennis, and there's not... There's not really any other tennis to play other than, you know... I'm gonna... I'm gonna play the one off my EverDrive, the, the one that didn't come out here. But I'm like sitting here playing tennis, and I'm playing yeah, you know, I played Madden the other day and you know, I've got other stuff like that coming up, and I'm just like I did all the hockey. There's no more hockey coming. Like, we're done with it. It just makes me sad. I know there's more, I know there's uh two more soccer games, but those are both, I think, pretty far off. But there's no more hockey, period. Which is a bummer. Game. The bummer. Power. God, the... just keep, keep prolonging it. Fifteen love. Jesus. Uh, 
30 love. What are you doing? I actually want to pull up my, my list too. Forty love. Like getting antsy over it, I like I want this to be over. All-Star Tennis, yeah, Gex 3 is coming up next. Uh, so that would actually probably be pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've, I will say I've, I've actually been listening to the Ultra 64 podcast, uh, which I discovered a long time ago, but I, I never actually listened to it that much. And I think one thing that I was kind of put off by it was um, one of their more recent episodes at the time that I found them, and I was like, oh, I'll pop into an episode that they'll talk about something I want to talk about it. Uh, it was a wrestling one. It was, I think it was a good wrestling one, too. Um, but these people didn't know what they were talking about when it came to wrestling, so I was like, ah, oh, this is really hard to listen to because these people don't actually know what they're doing. You know, they're only co when your only context for wrestling is these wrestling games and the wrestling that was out in the late 90s when those games were coming out, it's something I, did, I hear way too fucking much. So, you know, I was turned off, I didn't really want to listen to it, and I never really went back to it, but I've been listening to them, they're really good, like, Game um, they're very succinct, they, uh, they get through, they get through a good assessment of two to three games within 45 minutes to an hour, because I think they, they do something similar to what I do, where I always stream the first bit, I always stream my first uh, foray into the game, like I am here, like I didn't play this beforehand. Um, and if they have other memories of the games, then we'll talk about that too. But they'll they'll be like, we'll play them, you know, we'll play these related games side by side uh, for an hour, hour half, hour maybe two hours each. Um, you know, it depends on how much they like it. And, uh, and I'm pulling kind of one of their, you know, they would they would probably not play this too long, and I'm not gonna play this too long either. Um, but I listened to their uh, their Gex. Gex 64 and Gex 3 episode today, and, and I'm actually looking forward to it a lot more even than I was. Because um, I never played Gex 3 at all, so Gex 3 on, is a completely Randy. new experience for me. Uh, but when I get there, uh, I, I have... Wow, okay. I really came back there, didn't I? So did I win? Power. Just, uh... No, okay. Um, so I am really looking forward to Gex uh, being up next because I did play the original and I played it for a long time. I played a good chunk of that game um, and I think I used cheats to move around at my leisure and explore more of the game than, than I would than I would have gotten to organically. But I played I, I played a lot of it and it was clunky. Um, you can go watch watch me play that. It's from it's from a while ago now. I think. Um, but I'm looking forward to Gex Three uh, because they they basically just said like it's a big improvement. And I was looking forward to I was hoping that there would be some improvements. With it, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I should save any other discussion I have for when I actually play it. But I'll be playing it for a lot longer than this, so I'll have something. Thirty four. kind of sauntered back here, but it's like, nothing spectacular is really going on. I think there's a real trouble with uh, with the timing, because if the person hits it really lightly so that it doesn't have a lot of velocity onto it, your normal timing, my normal timing is on shots like this, and if they... If they do hit it like that, it's tough to tell that it's not moving as fast, and I and I get way ahead of myself. I think I'm I'm realizing what the problem is with the timing when I do stupid, stupid, really bad hits like that. But it's I'm realizing it's not really a me problem. It's a it's a oh it's because the it's the depth perception is really tough. Uh, yeah, when shots like that. It's a five games. So do we, we have to win a full seven games, I guess. I think I probably understood that from the last one, but I just like 
to me, it should be a best of. I, I don't, I never really understand why tennis's structure is the way that it is. I understand, oh, uh, you win this many games, you win a set, you win this many sets, you win a match, and then you win, uh, like, the match is the whole thing. But I've never really understood why you need to win best of within a best of, I guess. I'm mostly, I'm not trying anything fancy for the most part anymore. I really only have the capacity to hit A. So this, this game might as well be on the NES as far as I'm playing it. Uh, I will say, as far as other tennis games that I've enjoyed, I, I've gone on about virtual tennis, and Tennis 2K2 is also on the Dreamcast, and it doesn't really get as much attention. Probably because it feels like I bought Virtua Tennis feels a lot different than I bought oh, Tennis 2002 from the Dreamcast. And Virtua Tennis sounds cooler. It makes you think of Virtua Fighter. Um, Where I was going with this. Uh, I also have played a lot of, when I was a kid at least, I played a lot of Topspin uh, for the original Xbox. And if you've ever been in any retro game store, uh, or, uh, or anybody else's, you probably know hey, I could actually take the whole match at this point. No. Not quite. Um, um, you have probably seen, for the original Xbox, the double pack that is NCAA 2005 and Top Spin. And when I was a kid and I got, I had an original Xbox, oh, I hit that out. Great. It's going to keep going, isn't it? Yep. It's going to keep going. Holy shit. Um... One of the later pack-ins, because it would have been around 2004 or so, um, was a double pack of NCAA 2005 and Topspin. And I actually played NCAA 2005 a lot more out of those two games, but I, I, I got a lot of mileage out of that disc. Um, it's just, it's weird that I like think about and I recommend it. Like, nobody has any reason to go pick up NCAA 2005 for their original Xbox, and that's why like retro stores will have thousands of it, because it was a pack-in. It's like Tetris World's Clone Wars. Two great games, by the way, actually. You should, every person with an Xbox should have Tetris World's Clone Wars, I'm just saying. Uh, and everyone with an Xbox should have Sega GT uh, Jet Set. You should own all three of those pack -ins, I'm just saying. But, um... Yeah, I got a lot of mileage out of that as a kid. So, Top Spin won. Um, anything Mario Tennis, of course. Uh, so Mario Tennis 64, Mario Tennis on GameCube, Mario Tennis in Advance. Uh, I don't think I had Mario Tennis for the color. Uh, I just won that match, by the way. Hooray. Um, Mario Tennis for the Advance. Um, I always hear, uh, actually Grand Slam Tennis for the Wii is a game that I own that I have to Oh, and of course, Wii Sports. Wii Sports Tennis, great stuff. Wii Sports, Wii Sports Tennis and Wii Sports Resort Table Tennis are both great. Huh. Okay, so that's All Star Tennis, not even. I've been playing it for 40 minutes, and um, it's just there's not a lot to write home about. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, and if you're into tennis, I could see you know this being the only tennis game that besides Mario Tennis that you could get over here. I could see you playing this a lot if you actually want a tennis. But then, at the same time, how oh, many tennis uh, games are there on PS1? And how many tennis games are there on Saturn? Like, what's the competition? And then, and then, like I've been saying, Dreamcast is coming out real soon after this game. Like, within a month, I want to say. And Virtual Tennis is coming out. Like, just... If you're not going to play Mario Tennis on the N64, but you want a tennis game... There's, there's no reason for you to be playing 64 uh, if you want tennis. That being said, I will uh, take a breather, shut this off, 
uh, pop in my EverDrive, and I'll be back in a couple minutes to play uh, Center Court slash Let's Smash Tennis slash whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and we'll have a good direct comparison. We'll have two videos today, two streams today of the two most closely related games that you could have for this. Because um, they're way more closely related on that front than that front that either of them would be for Mario Tennis. This demo is not moving. It's supposed to be serving. Okay, anyway. Watch, please. Uh, cool. Peace. I'll be